Hey, how you doing? My name is Alex and welcome to Remixed Reviews. Today I'm going to be talking about a Marvel Select figure. In my collection, I don't own many, but the ones I have I do enjoy. Uh, Marvel Select is more known for their, uh, their bigger size, their sculpting, and their paint job more than they are for their articulation. But in this case, I believe they knocked it out of the park when it comes to the overall look and all of the aspects. The one I'm talking about is Thor, the Disney Store exclusive. Looked great when I saw it online, thought I had to get it, um, but I was more surprised with the actual articulation that it had and the overall look. Um, you can find it at the Disney Store, online at the DisneyStore.com. Some comic book shops do have it too. As far as finding it in mainstream, eventually you might, but for right now, I would say stick to those two places. Um, they average anywhere from 25 to 30 bucks. Great deal for this figure. I love the overall look, the articulation. I have opened it already. I couldn't wait. I had to take a look at it for myself before I had, uh, before I made this video. But now that I have opened it and looked, I can't wait to show you guys. If you guys don't own this figure, um, I think you're in for a treat. If you already own it, then you know what I'm talking about. You probably have a big smile on your face because this figure is awesome. So enough of me talking. Let's get to this review of the Thor Marvel Select. So here's a good look at Thor. He's coming in roughly right underneath 8 inches tall, which is a pretty decent size in my opinion. Overall, the look is awesome. I love the, the sculpting like always when it comes to Marvel Select. They did a good paint scheme. Uh, they made his skin a little bit dirty, which is fine. Oh, that's, that's coming off. Which is good because there are little blemishes here. Now, the fact that um, he's dirty and kind of beat up, it, that that's acceptable for me. I'm not really sure if that's on purpose or just an actual uh, scuff, which it might be because it matches his cuffs and the rest of his body pretty well. But it's a basic Thor costume. They just made it look a little more worn, a little more beat up, which I'm okay with. I like that his helmet, his sculpt, look at that perfect face, man. That's I like that type of Thor, a little bit mean. Did a really good job with the eyes, with the nose, all the little sculpting that's in there. Had his hair come out here. Really good. I like the, the paint job they did on the helmet. The uh, wings are very soft plastic, but that's pretty cool. I don't mind that at all. Have probably less chance of it to break. Really good sculpting across his body, uh, the legs, the boots, everything. Even the back. I like the shade he did. The different shades and the black they used in the cape. And if they didn't skimp. Even on the back of him, they, the, they did great design, great sculpting. Really cool figure, man. Uh, with this type of figure, less is more, and I think they did a really good job. Overall, I'm not complaining. He does come with a stand. Um, have issues with the stand. It brings his feet a little too close. I think he does need a stand. I just don't like the fact that his feet are just a little too tight you know i mean it's not bad I, I use it i will use it i might find another one later i think you need it because he is a little top heavy um so you know comes with an extra head without the helmet i prefer actually with the with the helmet on again they did a, a great job face is pretty identical great job on the hair you could always use this for a custom which i don't mind came with the hammer, it also has some great little, great detail just on the paint job itself. Adding little chips, adding some chrome silver in there. Came with an extra hand. Now this hand is very important. This is an extra right hand. Um, actually, I take that back. The one in his hand is our, is the important one for me. That's the one that's made to carry this bad boy right here. And they took the time on every individual hammer to give it its own look. It's paint chips, silver. It's a very uh, clear uh, see-through plastic, which looks pretty cool. The sh the swooshes, I would say, to make it go looking like it's going around. They just took the time to make this really cool. They did make a statue with this. I'm not exactly sure uh, who manufactured it. I was really close on buying that statue because it was a bigger version of this with this particular type of uh, design when it came to this hammer. But... I didn't get it. It was like 300 bucks. I'm glad I didn't because this is definitely more in my price range and very cool. Now, we got Facebook. You already seen a ton of these designs. This goes right into his hand. Now, this wrist 
hand is removable comes out just like that the other one is for the single hammer but i like this one this is the one i'll keep it with slides right in there nice and neat and look at that zoom back a little bit that is very very cool looks like it's in action mid con you know just like in the comic book and uh, to be honest with you, I couldn't even get this pose without this stand. So maybe the stand is a little better than I thought. Um, he, the way he's kind of leaning. I enjoy this figure. I think that it, I'm glad they gave you a single hammer. I'm glad they gave you a different hand. Even the head. Oh. It's just a lot of options for this figure. I thought it was really cool. The price range is perfect. And like I said, when it comes to articulation, these guys did not disappoint also. When it comes to Marvel Select. I mean... You know, it, it's not the greatest articulated figure they have, uh, but for a Marvel Select, it's decent. You know, the arms come up, you got upper arm swivel, you got an elbow. That comes about, you know, what is that, 45 degree, not a particular 90. His wrist does go in and out. It does do the 360 motion. They are, it is removable, at least this one is. And like I said, his head is changeable too, so you can go ahead, put on the other head i don't really like it this way it just doesn't look you know it looks like thor but i prefer with the helmet so let's get this out of here put this one back in there you go much better um knees i guess you could call it double jointed his thighs come and kind of come in the way now what he does have that's really really <laughs> dramatic is that ankle pivot if you guys could look and i guess you need it because it gives them a pretty decent stand on both sides you know you could spread them out just a little bit so it's not bad. It's overall I'm happy with it. it. Does have an ab crunch. Not a very good one, but I mean it's there. And uh, his legs come out. They're not really hindered. They just don't come out that far. So um, like I said, it has articulation. I'm happy with the articulation. It's not the best that you'll see on a figure, but when it comes to Marvel Select, yeah, I would say it's up there. You know, I mean a lot of them don't have hardly any. So. Overall, I'm really happy with this figure. Uh, the paint job, I give it a 10. I think it looks cool. Uh, articulation for the Marvel Select, I give it a probably a, a 6, which isn't bad. Um, and I think this is, if you're a Thor fan, you got to have this in your collection. It just looks really cool. Um, the hammer, you can't beat that design. Let me throw it up here again real quick. Yeah. So that's how I'm going to pose them. That's how I'm going to have them. And if you're someone who does not open your figures, I feel sorry for you at this point because this one looks really, really cool. So here's a quick comparison next next to Thor, the Marvel Legends. Uh, they're both the same identical character in totally different looks and totally different imaginations. I think they both work excellent. Uh, these are two of my favorite Thor figures made. Uh, I love the both styles. I mean, here you have the hard, shinier, white out winged helmet, and here it's dark and combed in and it works both ways uh you can't go wrong with either figure but if you're a big thor fan like i am you gotta have both i got rid of all the older marvel legend versions of thor and anything else that came in toy biz or whatever because for me these two do it um i'm really happy with them and i have no complaints on either one well i hope you enjoyed this review as much as i've enjoyed making it I strongly recommend this figure if you do not have them in your collection, especially if you're a um, Thor fan or Avengers fan. You def this is one definitely to get. Um, I, everything about it is good. It even scales well with other 6-inch figures because Thor should be a little bigger anyways. So, I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, leave your comments at the bottom. If you like it, please hit the like button. And for more information, more videos, interviews, please visit us at www.comicsremix.com. And we'll see you next time. I cannot stay here too long before my machine friends will become nervous and do something rash.